The sad decay of a rap legend. Nicki Minaj downfall. Who knows who Nicki Minaj is, chat? Who knows who Nicki Minaj is? Any Barbies in the chat? Because I'm definitely a Barbie. So let me watch. Let me see what's going on. All right, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Please like the video. Let's go. There is no debate. Nicki Minaj is a living legend in rap. She has over 100 million records sold, 23 top 10 Billboard Hot 100 singles, three number one singles, three number one albums, 148 Billboard Hot 1 entries, making her the number Damn. five of all all time. Nine Damn. American Music Awards, 12 BET Awards, 8 MTV Video Music Awards, oh 4 God. Billboard Music oh Awards, God. 4 People's Choice Awards, what the? 10 Grammy nominations. What the? Do I really need to keep going because her list of accolades is oh. long? Can you imagine what her accolades room looks like? Like her trophy room. If Nicki Minaj quietly bowed out of the spotlight, we would all hold her in high regard as one of the most dominant and well-respected female artists of all time. But True. she ruined that. Her continuous self-sabotage, close associations with sexual predators, and patterns of embarrassing behavior has led to even her most diehard fans questioning really? the rapper's legacy. Once we dive into her history, you will start to wonder if she is trying to destroy- But she hasn't fallen off. We saw her a couple months ago on Kai Sinet stream and the viewers were insane. Her reputation on purpose, because her words and actions will leave any sane person dumbfounded. But the true beginning of Nicki's decay started in 2017, when okay. one rapper exposed her so badly that the tide began shifting against Minaj. For seven years in a row, 2010 to 2016, Nicki won the BET Award for Best Female Hip Hop Artist. It's almost like she was the only female rapper. Obviously she wasn't, but to hip hop fans, it kind of felt like that. Now sure, over the years, she had some beef with other female artists, like Lil' Kim, Mariah Carey, Iggy Azalea, Mariah Carey? and even Miley Cyrus. Who the hell is beefing with Mariah Carey? All I want for Christmas is you. What, who's beef? Why, why would they beef? What? <laughs> Like, I get it. The Nicki Minaj versus the Cardi B's. I understand that. The Nicki Minaj versus the Megan Thee Stallions. I understand that. But when you're beefing Mariah Carey, all I want for Christmas. Like, where's the overlap? Do you get what I'm like, huh? Chris. And now, back to this that had a lot to say about Whoa. me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? But oh, I remember that. I remember that. Negative impact on Nicki's career. Miley, what's good? Especially when you compare them to Remy Ma, who was the first rapper to successfully break down Nicki Minaj. When Remy Ma was incarcerated in 2007, she left behind massive shoes in the female rap scene that Nicki arguably filled. Eminem beef Minaj Mariah? cemented her in rap history throughout the next couple of years, being dubbed the Queen of Rap, among other illustrious titles. When Remy was released from prison in 2014, prison? the female rap scene had changed drastically, and she was nowhere near as relevant in the eyes of music listeners. But Remy still gave Minaj her props. What I can say is that she's a wonderful woman, and she's she's on the same page with me, like that there's no need to try to tear somebody down. I, I can say what I said. You know, I let her know that I'm mm. super proud of her. Despite her being cordial, Remy likely felt hungry to take back the queen of hip hop crown. No chance. And what's a better way to show that she is a more skilled rapper than Nicki Send than Nikki. remixing her songs? Oh, she play. released freestyles to Minaj's Only and Truffle Butter. On Truffle I'm not gonna lie. That thumbnail is insane. There's a gun in the middle of the butt cheeks. What the hell? You can't see as good you can't see. And he suspected- No, 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 we don't need to move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need to meet the camera. We we don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> and she took subliminal shots at Nikki. People keep saying, Rem, you need to drop a record. I'm like, in a minute, let me body his records. Yeah, for the millions, I will kill these pop hoes. Even though it seemed like a feud might be brewing, Remy continued voicing her support for Nikki and vice versa, with Nikki hinting at a potential collaboration in the future. Mm. Remy continued releasing music seemingly filled with subliminal disses towards Nikki for two years, and eventually Nikki took the bait. On Jason Derulo's mm. single, Swala, Nikki said, I gave these b****s two years. Now your time's up. Bless her heart, she's throwing shots, but every line sucks. Oh. Two days later, Nikki was featured on Gucci Mane's Make Love, where she took even more shots aimed at Remy. Oh, you the queen of this here? One platinum plaque, album flopped, 
which where? <gasps> this was clearly aimed at Remy, who consistently called herself the queen of NYC. Uh -oh. But Remy comes from a class of hip hop MCs that don't take disses lightly. So she clapped back at Nicki with a full fledged cutthroat diss track. Sheether was Remy's 2017 remix of Nas's diss track on Jay Z titled Ether, which is widely regarded as one of the most iconic hip hop diss tracks of all time. <laughs> like Nas, Remy delivered a barrage of scathing insults and criticisms aimed at Nicki, attacking everything from her appearance to her credibility as an artist. She claims Damn. that Nicki had sex with Lil Wayne, Drake, Trey Songz, Ebro, Gucci Mane. She claims that Nicki's butt implants popped, which led to- What? The hell? a downfall in her and Meek Mill's relationship. She also said that Nikki was influencing oh yeah, she girls to get Mel. BBL surgeries, which have resulted in numerous deaths while under the knife. Oh. She claimed that Nikki uses ghostwriters and even hard drugs. She also criticized Nikki about her support for her brother, who is a convicted file. At this uh -oh. point in her career, Nikki seemed invincible, and she had never been directly attacked at this magnitude by another female rapper. People patiently awaited to hear Nikki's response, with many thinking it would be one of the greatest diss tracks of all time, but she choked and barely responded. Trying to act unimpressed by the response, Nikki took to Instagram and posted a now-deleted screenshot of an article referencing Fat Joe and Remy Ma's album opening week sales, which is the stereotypical response for a more popular rapper to brag about sales numbers while avoiding the serious accusations. She also posted audio of Beyonce referencing her as a rap queen. I met this girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was the rap queen. Rem Beyonce is the goat though. You know Beyonce is untouchable, isn't it? Like, you know when I was young, I actually had a big fat crush on Beyonce. Like, bro. I used to open Kiss and MTV Bass hoping that I would see Beyonce on my screen like no cap. Beyonce is beautiful, bro. Swear down. Um, there's no reason that wait, hold on. There's people, there's people that just want to drag Nikki for no reason. Wait, I swear, apparently, Nikki Minaj's husband's like a nonce or some shit like that. What's all that all about? Her birthday's the day after yours, she's your sister. Say, swear. Emmy then appeared on the Wendy Williams accused? show where she discussed why she dissed Nikki in the first place. She dressed in all black, implying Fat that Joe? her outfit was funeral attire for Nikki. It what? took Minaj two weeks to respond with a record called No Frauds, where she accused Remy of getting plastic surgery, using ghostwriters, and a plethora of the exact same things that Remy that accused London? Nikki of doing. Her response was basically, I know you are, but what am I? Despite Nikki's cult-like fanbase supporting her, the industry essentially declared Remy the winner, as she dethroned wow. Nikki seven year run as the best female hip hop artist at the 2017 so she went in jail came back and won the award fair play BET Go give it to us got fair play while we starved shots in your pads fair play. in your bras y'all some liars it ain't no facts in your song and yeah that crown is coming back to the bra Nicki Fair Minaj play. hasn't won this award ever since. Fair play. Those who saw Minaj as the epitome of female rap just witnessed her get embarrassed and disrespected. She failed to address the wow. onslaught of Remy's attacks and just continued to flex her wealth and sales numbers. Many thought because Nicki avoided the allegations, they must be true. But it's possible that this beef was just strictly entertainment and Nicki tucked her tail and took the L because she knew she was the weaker MC. Plus, any attention Nicki gave Remy only made her more relevant. But mm. things got even worse for Nikki. Okay. There was a new poppin' female rapper from Cardi New York B. called Cardi B, and she had no intentions hmm. on bowing down to Minaj. I like but Cardi first, B. first, a quick word from today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. W sponsor, 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 Patrick worth up to and make your own picks with Underdog. From the moment she stepped into the spotlight, Cardi aligned herself with Lil' Kim and Remy Ma, Nikki's biggest enemies. Remy even brought out Cardi at Summer Jam 2017, where Remy's whole performance was dedicated to dissing Nicki Minaj. Therefore, wow. Nicki declared Cardi her enemy. But Cardi wow. was different than Remy. She actually had a chance to dethrone Nicki's spotlight, and maybe even compete with her sales numbers. Cardi had the same appeal as Nicki. She could rap, she had the charisma and humor, she could do pop music, she had the yeah. sex appeal she was, she was even supporting a similar bob Nikki's, hairstyle uh, during funny. summer of 2017 cardi dropped her song bodak yellow which was the hottest record mm -hmm. of the summer all of the spotlight was on yep. cardi so nikki immediately took shots at the rapper london on the track released a song titled no flag where nikki is heard rapping i heard these labels are trying to make another me everything oh. you're getting little ho is because of me with how successful nikki's oh. career had been it's not a stretch to think record labels viewed her as the blueprint to producing the next megastar in female rap 
Plus, when you consider that UK rapper Lady Lesher stated <gasps> that Atlantic Records offered Lady Leisha? Lady Leisha denied 250 bags to this Nicki Minaj? What? Shaping is a wild name for herself in, in both the UK and US is without her. Two hundred and fifty bags to make a diss track towards Nicki Minaj. She denied. You think she should have denied it or not, nah, chat? Jenny, that's what happened. Look at me now. You know, bust around. We chant bust when I'm sitting in front of this one. Yeah, basically, when you do a diss track again, two hundred and fifty bags to do a diss track. Yes. Offered her a two hundred fifty thousand yes. euro deal if she made a diss track about Minaj. Yes. You start to wonder if Atlantic Records, the same label that signed Cardi B, may have encouraged her to imitate and potentially engage in beef with Nicki, because Cardi seemingly responded to Nicki on stage. You know this. She never liked me, and all of a sudden she wanna be friends with me. No. At the time, it wouldn't really make sense for Cardi B to be wow. enemies with Nicki Minaj. But from a business and marketing perspective, I could see a label encouraging this beef to keep yep. fans engaged yep. and boost sales numbers. Yep. In fact, Cardi's Barty gang and Nicki's Barb's fan bases actively fought each other on social media. Yep. The Barb's even teamed up with the Swifties to excessively stream Taylor's Look What You Made Me Do in an attempt to keep Taylor at number one on the Billboard wow. 100. But they ultimately failed as Bodak Yellow landed at the number one spot, Damn. breaking a record that Nicki could never do by herself. Most Cardi B became the first female rapper with a number one solo single no. since Lauryn Hill's doo in 1998. Bodak Yellow stayed at number one on the Hot 100 for three consecutive no. weeks. At this point, Nicki had never achieved a number one song. Plus, she was 35 and her prime was seemingly behind her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, how old is Nicki Minaj? Surely then she must be like 40s. I ain't gonna lie, she don't look a day over 28. She's four years old, she don't look a day over 28, I'll tell you that. Cardi's commercial impact could not be denied, and perhaps Nicki wanted to establish a truce. She congratulated Cardi on the massive achievement on Twitter, but that truce only lasted a few weeks, because Nicki's jealousy She's would 41. eat away at her. In October of 2017, the Migos released a single titled Motorsport, in which they uh, requested a feature from Nicki. Spawn. In Nicki's verse, da, she da, said, da, da. If Cardi is the QB, then I'm Nick Lombardi. To explain Damn. the reference, an NFL quarterback, like Patrick Mahomes, is typically the star of the team. But Vince Lombardi is one of the greatest NFL coaches of all time. He was an executive of the uh. NFL, and the trophy that is given to the Super Bowl winner is called the Lombardi Trophy. Nicki's essentially saying here, if Cardi's the star of a team, and I'm a legend. I'm the damn trophy that you work your Fez. whole life to achieve. Fez. However, once Nicki found out that Cardi Fez. was going to be on the song, she changed the lyric to, if Quavo is the QB, <laughs> then I'm Nick Lombardi. <laughs> Which doesn't really make sense, nor does it rhyme. <laughs> Despite this, Cardi insisted that there was no beef between the two. I just feel like it's really internet made up. Fans mm. and people, they really want to see that happen because it's really entertaining. Entertainment, to yeah. see people beef is yeah. entertaining. Yeah. But the beef Drama. would be confirmed to be true when Drama. the two got into a physical altercation a few months later at Harper's Bazaar's I this fight is probably uh is probably made up as well I ain't gonna lie I like Cardi I love Cardi's charisma she's so funny Khan's party during New York Fashion She's Week. Multiple funny. videos of the two fighting quickly circulated online, with one even showing Cardi attempting to throw a shoe at Nicki. In one of the videos, Cardi can be heard making some damning threats. Damn. Cardi was later seen exiting the venue with a massive uh -oh, bump on her forehead. My gosh. Nicki said she was embarrassed about the whole situation. The other night, I was a part of something so mortifying and so humiliating. Then Cardi responded with, How you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? Damn. You lie so much, you can't even keep up with lies. Cardi posted Damn. her reasoning behind the attack the following day. <laughs> she accused Nikki of trying to blackball her, intimidate her, and worst of all, speaking ill of her child. Facts. Cardi's Dominican, she's got that energy. Facts. Facts. Now, I've never seen her fight. She come from the strip club uh, era, right? I remember, I remember, I remember Cardi used to be a stripper. I know Cardi don't fuck about. 
Everyone took Cardi's side, since they understood that defending their children is important. However, Nikki vehemently denied that she ever spoke bad about Cardi's daughter. She also called out Cardi's hypocrisy by revealing old Instagram screenshots where Cardi repeatedly attacked a mother whose son died. She also referred to the deceased oh, child shit. as a monkey. Cardi also Yo! accused Nikki of trying to interrupt or ruin her financial opportunities, Damn. money that would help her feed her family. So Nikki again called out Cardi's hypocrisy. Now we don't get into some things because I'm tired of people lying on me. Now you want to talk about stopping bags, but it's two innocent girls in a strip club right now that ain't did nothing but go to the strip club and get money. Now they can't get no money. So who's stopping bags? Yo, this is mad entertaining. Tyrone wants you. Listen, Tyrone has my phone number. If Tyrone wants me, he'll call me. Have a good night. Yeah, she used to. I think she now, she knows how to scratch. They should have just had a boxing match. Cardi B drugs men then slept with them. Yo, what the hell? Yo, Quartz, what's good? Wait, I feel like I missed someone's message, man. You know, coming in here saying that Tyrone, this Tyrone, that. Uh, uh, Obi, what's up, man? How you doing, Obi? What's good, bro? What's up, what's up, man? How you doing, Quartz? What's going on? You okay? Because you got grown-ass fucking men showing up to where the f*** they at and where they work at. They can't feed their kids. They can't feed their fucking family. You mad at a woman for what a man is doing. And that's the problem with so many black women and women, period. Oh, because she's not black. Because she refers to you black women. Oh, we got the receipts for that, too. FYI, she refers to black women as monkeys and roaches. Eee. Roaches! Cardi never responded to this directly. Eee. She was done with the back and forth. Well, where was I when all this beef was happening? Forth and made a declaration that Nikki did not want to accept. We could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. Oh. Regardless of who you think was Damn. right in this situation, it was evident that female rappers had no intentions on bowing down and declaring Damn. Nikki as the queen of rap. Her dominance over the culture was fading. Cardi was just the first of many emerging female artists that we see dominating hip hop today. And it seemed like Nikki was slowly losing her mind, seemingly grasping at straws to keep the public on her nice side. Teeth. But the more she got on social media to rant, the worse it got for her. On August 10th, 2018, Nikki released her fourth studio album, Queen. Led by singles like Chun Li and Barbie Dreams, the album received positive reviews from critics. Queen debuted at number two on the Billboard Hot 200 after selling one. She can't get that number one, man. Nikki just can't get that number one. Is it the Billboard she couldn't, but Cardi got it? She just can't. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This was a time uh, I never, I never was. Yeah, I was, trying, I was doing my old job. That's what it was, yeah. If you had to pick a duo, Ice Spice and Nikki or Lato and Cardi. Ooh, I think I got Ice Spice and Nikki. 185,000 units a good question, week. No. Now this was Nikki's worst Probably album performance, but right number two is still considered yeah. a wildly true, successful true YK. debut. She just released at a competitive time. Travis Scott's Astro World dropped the week before, which was the single most anticipated album of 2018 and he delivered as it was a great project. Astro World remained at number one for a second week in a row with 205,000 sales. With the Cardi B beef still fresh, Cardi fans had even more ammo since her debut album reached number one just a few months earlier. On top of that, Cardi outsold Nicki. Nicki being oh, number two was wow. further proof to her detractors that she is not the dominant force she once was. So she started blaming everyone but herself for the album not reaching number one. She tweeted, wow. Spotify put Drake's face on every playlist but told me they'd have to teach me a lesson for playing my music 10 minutes early on Queen Radio. Even though they've been giving away my music for free for years and I'm one of the top Spotify wow. artists of all time, Nikki also blamed her label for not standing up for her because they feared Spotify would retaliate and not promote her friend and frequent collaborator Ariana Grande's album Sweetener that released around the same time. Spotify eventually addressed Nikki's claims, denying all allegations of mistreatment. <laughs> Spotify supported Nicki Minaj with a Times Square billboard, a host of the largest playlists, New Music Friday and the New Music Release Shelf. Sadly, Nikki, good music will always prevail. Serious. I'm a munch for life, not facts. Hey, Curly Courts, appreciate that sub. Hey, W's, man, I can't believe we actually made it back to 400 subs, man. Appreciate you, chat, for real, man. W's, 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 thank you so much. Why didn't he talk about Nikki's? Hold on, he might get there. Hold on, hold on, Blazing. I know you're Blazing. I know you're Team Nikki right now. Hey, G2S, what's up, my boy? I know your team, Nikki, right now. I know you are. A representative for Spotify told Business Insider her song. 
Tyrone said, bring him. Tyrone has my number. If Tyrone wants me to call him, he will call me. Full stop. Have a good night. Bed actually saw an increase based on the promotions put behind the campaign. The company continues to be big fans of Nikki. After Spotify proved her wrong, Nikki could no longer blame them, so she shifted her anger towards Travis himself. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in writing a dope album only for Travis Scott to have Kylie Jenner post a tour pass telling people to come see her and Stormy. I'm actually laughing. For context, Kylie Jenner promoted Travis Scott's online store to Instagram with the caption, Me and Storm ready for tour, to which Nikki claims that Travis sold 50,000 album units because of Kylie's promotion. All purchases of his t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and keychains automatically came with a digital download of Astro World, which a lot counted of blame as one in album it. sale, even though the buyer is not required to actually download or listen to the album. This has been a common <laughs> strategy for artists to exploit the Billboard charts for over a decade. <laughs> what we're not gonna do is have this auto so, man. So, so, I listen, I'm sorry I'm pausing a lot, but, so, okay, Nikki, why didn't you do the same strategy too? If you knew the strategy was a thing, why did you not also implement this strategy? Why did your team not make you do the strategy, Nikki? Hey, hey. So we can't go around blaming, da, 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 saying X, Y, and Z. If you knew how to get more sales, why did you not implement that into your rollout and into your campaign of your album? Coming up here, selling fucking sweaters and telling y'all he sold half a million fucking albums because he didn't. And it's why didn't we get Barbie dolls or, or Barbie sweaters then, uh, Nikki? A lot of rappers behind the scene that want to talk about it and they're scared. You're a fucking man. You got your homeboy talking for you and you got your girlfriend posting f oh, tour nah. passes saying you sold albums. Nikki. Stop it! Firstly, Nikki calling Travis oh, Nikki. man is a non-insult oh, considering her love for the effect. Secondly, oh, her Nikki. being angry about bundle sales is ironic because she tried to do this exact same strategy. Exactly. According to an article published by Rolling Stone, on her online store, Nikki had an array of merch and album bundles oh. available. She oh. also provided a concert package to her upcoming joint tour with rapper Future. Oh. Each time a fan purchased a concert package they received free copies of her album which substantially impacted the sales for queen oh. Nikki also tried to boost her numbers after the album's official release by adding her previous release track fifi to the album which would count towards the album's fifi is a banger i'm not gonna lie fifi is a banger total streaming numbers but none of it worked nikki so, so she did try but it didn't work you can't be mad you tried it, but it didn't work you said because radio stations don't play her music that's why it never goes is that why she has the queen radio is that why had no one else to blame she had to just accept that people didn't i hope i hope they talk about her new album pink friday i hope they talk about the numbers there i want to know what pink friday did don't tell don't tell me if you know let's see want her album her merch or her tour talk as about much as they sure. wanted travis's or cardi b's as if 2018 couldn't get any crazier for nikki the public found out about her boyfriend's dark past uh -oh. which changed her reputation forever nikki began to publicly post about her boyfriend kenneth petty after a few months of dating with sources close to minaj claiming that they were already considered getting married and having babies but nikki's fans weren't so supportive of kenneth as he is a convicted sex offender stemming oh. back to the 90s kenneth initially pleaded not guilty to all charges however during a hearing on april 5th oh. 1995 petty withdrew his not guilty plea and instead pleaded guilty oh. to the charge of attempted rape oh. he was sentenced to 18 to 54 months in prison but served no. nearly four years before his release in january of 1999 if kenneth is considered a tier 2 or tier oh. 3 sex offender he must remain on the sex offender registry for at least 20 years as well as report oh. his current address to the department of justice every six months oh. which is why in july of 2022 petty was sentenced in los angeles to probation and home detention for failing to register as a sex offender oh. kenneth was also ordered to pay a fifty five thousand dollar fine as a part of his sentence of three years probation and oh. one year of home oh. detention according to the u.s attorney's office but it gets even worse since the public became so invested in nikki's relationship media outlets began reporting oh, on the 26 year old no. trial which led to petty's victim jennifer hugh having to relive this horrific time of her life oh. she even claimed that the associates of Minaj and Petty spent months in 2020 harassing her and offered her hundreds of thousands of dollars to basically say that the attempted rape never happened. Oh. Jennifer alleged that a man named Barry, who was close to her brother, reached out to offer his help. Barry got Jennifer on the phone with Minaj, to which she claims that Minaj tried to help her. She also quoted Nikki saying, Listen, I just need you to know, woman to woman, this really happened. 
Jennifer was confused. Mm-mm. Why would Nicki Minaj want to help her husband's victim? Well, if Jennifer were to say that the 1995 case was a lie, then Nicki's reputation to the public might be saved. Mm. Barry allegedly parked in a car outside her house. Jennifer said he offered her $20,000 in cash if she agreed to sign a letter he typed that stated she lied about her assault. Mm-mm. Jennifer refused any and all offers of financial compensation to Bobby change Jennifer. her story. Jennifer became even more fearful when she received a call from her brother asking if she was okay. He told her that their cousin had called him again and that this time he sounded terrified, telling mm. them that they knew where she lived. Jennifer moved and changed her phone number as she feared for her safety. She did not know who was looking for her, but she did not want to take any chances. She ended up moving three times over the course of a couple years. Wow. She believes that she was being intimidated, stalked. Also, she could change her. El Nicki Minaj, man. El Nicki Minaj, man. What the fuck? Oh man, this is bad. Great video though, by the way. This is all factual stuff too. This is all factual stuff too. Hey, lives long time, no lives. Long time, no see, you like smile on my face. I love seeing familiar names come back, man. What's up, lives? Thank you for the thirteen months. Shit, I was gonna say something because someone said something in the chat, oh, and I forgot. But pff, Nikki, Whew. god damn. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Her story and clear Petty's name to the public, but she stayed strong and refused to give in. She actually ended up suing the Petties for $20 million for her claim she endured a relentless campaign of bribery, intimidation, harassment, What'd you do and for stalking. Live and but then Petty accused Hugh of going out of her way to publicly shame him. Jennifer even went as far as releasing never before seen photos from 1994 with bruises on her neck and body after the assault. Oh, Jennifer said, wow. when I was 16, nobody believed me and now it feels the same. Wow. It feels like I'm fighting for my character. Petty and Minaj's legal teams denied all accusations and are more than ready to defend themselves in court. Since Minaj hasn't directly responded to these allegations, it's impossible to say she is guilty of bribery and intimidation. Not responding is probably the smartest thing Nikki has ever done. But even if the the truth comes out that she never intimidated this woman, fans still wonder why out of all people Nikki chose to be with, she landed on Kenneth Petty. After all, this wasn't his only crime. Fuck it, Nikki. I swear Nikki used to date Drake. Hey, W promotion lives, W promotion. Yo, Waz, hey Waz, thank you so much Waz for the 12 months. Hey, big year, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, bro, I swear she used to date Drake or fancy Drake. Or, this is a massive downgrade, of course. What the fuck is this? Petty was also responsible. Oh, shit. That's it. Somebody asked me about my supermarket. Who was that? Oh, that's what I was going to respond to. Somebody asked me about the supermarket. Supermarket, I want to try and do that next stream. Next stream, next stream. I don't think we'll be able to fit into tonight, today's stream, but definitely I want to set it up 100% for the shooting death of Lamont Robinson in 2002. The original charge was murder in the second degree, but following a plea bargain, he pled guilty to manslaughter, to which he was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for. TV host Jesse Palmer aired a segment on Daily Mail TV regarding Nicki's relationship where he said that Nicki's fans were, quote, worried because this isn't the first time Nicki Minaj has defended a sex offender. He then clarified that Nicki had allegedly been supporting her brother while he was behind bars. Nicki proceeded to have an outburst on Instagram saying, you just lied on me on national television and now you're being sued. You better be able to back up what you just said about me with facts. She uh. followed up with another tweet saying that the reporter was going to jail for repeating extremely public information. Nikki would have 100% uh. lost this lawsuit since it was public knowledge that Nikki was supporting her brother during his trial. Because if you don't know, Nikki's husband isn't the only one guilty of oh sex crimes. My her brother gosh. Jelani Mirage was sentenced to 25 uh. years to life in prison for predatory sexual uh. assault. Oh against my a child. Word. Authorities arrested Jelani in connection with the case in December of 2015 after he was accused of repeatedly R-wording. I ain't gonna lie, man. He guilty. I ain't gonna lie. But he's guilty, man. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? 
his stepdaughter, beginning when she was just 11 years old. According to Bossip, Jelani was an employee for Nikki at the time. While in custody, he suffered from an unknown medical condition that required him to be arranged at Nassau University Medical Center. According to the New York Post, Nicki Minaj promptly paid her brother's $100,000 bail, using two of her houses in Baldwin, Long Island as collateral. According to a source close to Nikki, she was prepared to do anything for her brother. Nikki was willing to give up any ass- Alright, Mickey, I understand, like, you know, family ties, blood is thicker than water, rare, 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 but, like, there's a line. There is a line, bruh. Like, bruh set to ensure she had enough money to protect her brother. A grand jury in New York's Nassau County indicted Jelani Mirage on felony sexual Newborn, assault it. against a child in April of 2016. He was also indicted on two felony counts of sexual conduct against a child and endangering the welfare of a child. He pled not guilty to the charges, asserting his innocence and denying the charges brought against him. Since he pled not guilty, Jelani seeked to have the prosecution prove the case against him beyond a reasonable doubt during the trial in October of 2017. Although Nick he never commented publicly on the charges against Jelani, his attorney, David Schwartz, told media outlets that Nikki may attend part of her brother's trial and supports him 100%. In November of 2017, Nassau County Court found Jelani Mirage guilty of predatory sexual assault. And you might as well just add rapper Takashi69 huh. to the Nicki Minaj sex huh. crime triangle as her What's first number one song came from their collaboration, Trolls. In October of 2015, oh. Daniel Hernandez pled guilty to a felony count of use of a child in a sexual performance. Oh, for he was charged sake. with three counts of the offense after a February 2015. Oh, what is it with this industry, man? Like, why? I don't understand. What? I love it. The only thing I support here on is against Megan. Megan and the Hey, the Megan and Tory thing, that's another thing. We need a doctor come out against that. Uh, around that, sorry. Bro, what the hell is this? Like, what? Incident in which he had physical contact with a 13 year old girl and later distributed videos of the incident online as a part of a music video. In the video, the child engages in oral sexual intercourse with the separately charged defendant, Taquan Anderson, while the defendant, Daniel Hernandez, stands behind the child making a thrusting motion with his oh pelvis my. and smacking her on the buttocks. Oh. The child is nude in the video. In an interview with DJ Academics, 6ix9ine denied knowing the girl was a minor, but Takashi's legal situation was very much public knowledge knowledge before Nikki and 6 ix first collaboration. Most artists in the industry avoided working with Takashi due to this charge, but Nikki didn't seem to mind. All right, Nikki, man, you're done. Nikki, you're done. Nikki, you're done. Nikki, you're done. I wish this came out before the Kaisernet stream, man, because then I would have really, really, ah, uh, okay. I understand the title, Nikki Minaj's downfall. Now it makes sense. This ain't even clickbait. Great, 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 great video, Patrick CC. Amazing video. I would love to see Nicki Minaj's response to this. Some people, particularly Nicki Minaj fans, look at her involvement with sexual predators as... Also, appreciate the bits, course. Thank you so much. <laughs> strictly coincidental. Her brother could have lived a double life. She probably genuinely thought he was a good, innocent man and was just as shocked as we were when the charges were made. They probably think she financially supported him because she is a good sister. Her husband's case was in 1995 before she ever knew him, and he was 16 years old. Maybe Nikki believes he is a changed man, and their love is so strong she is willing to forgive him. Or maybe she genuinely believes he was falsely accused and vilified his whole life, and 6 9 could be chalked up as purely business. 6 9 is a rapper, and let's be honest, most rappers aren't exactly the most morally righteous people. But she still has this massive grey cloud of questionable associations that makes it really hard for fans mm. to defend her, especially when she keeps engaging in wars with other female rappers. In addition to mm -hmm. Remy and Cardi, Lotto and Megan mm -hmm. Thee Stallion broke Nicki down, but we can't even blame them. You will notice that Minaj did this to herself. Nikki and Atlanta-based rapper Lotto got into some beef after Minaj exposed screenshots of their private conversation. It all wow. started when Minaj was mad at the Grammys for nominating her song Super Freaky Girl in the pop category while Lotto's hit song Big Energy was nominated in the rap category. Super Freaky Girl, where I only rapped on the song, was removed out of rap categories at the Grammys, right? Wow. 
and put in pop. Now, Nikki does have a solid point here. The Grammys' categorizations for these songs does seem wrong, and people have suspected that the Grammys have been corrupt for a long time. Lotto responded with a subtweet saying, Damn, I can't win for losing. All these awards, nominations, I can't even celebrate. Ah. According to Lotto, she attempted to reach out to Nikki and privately address the situation, but Nikki went to Twitter instead. This Karen has oh, probably my mentioned word. my name in over 100 interviews. She said she waited in line for Pink Friday with her Barbie chain on, bangs, pink hair, but today, Scratch Off decides to be silent, rather than speak up for the black woman she called her biggest inspiration. The oh two then continued their gosh. back and forth on Twitter. Oh fuck Nikki man, respectfully, I'm sorry man. I know there's Nikki stands in the chat right now, I'm sorry man. Fuck Nikki black. She just seems like an annoying older sister that's just always in the way and wants to be number one man. Get the hell out the way bro. You're, you've had your time, you didn't capitalize, Make way for the new generation. That's it. Lotto said, Super freaky grandma is married and related to effing rapists. You ain't gonna bully me Damn. much. My idol turned rival. Now you hate it. As you can see, w anytime Lato. Nikki gets into a beef, the main attack is her association with her brother and husband. Nikki responded by pointing out Lotto's hypocrisy. Didn't care about rap when she was begging for features. Didn't care about Kodak's past. Didn't care about the accusation. Wait, what's Kodak's past? What's Kodak's past? What's Kodak's past? <laughs> the video is what? <laughs> if they didn't care about the accusations made by Dr. Luke to produce the game. News flash scratch off. I've never. I've been spamming him. Made about Dr. Luke, who produced Big Energy. Newsflash, scratch off. I've never raped anyone. Oh, I've inspired mama. millions. You're one of them, bozo. To be clear, Lotto never accused Nikki of R wording anyone. She said married and related. The public took Lotto's side and looked at Nikki as a bitter old bully mm -hmm. mad at the young rising star there who won go. the BET Award for See? Best Female Hip Hop Artist over Nikki. But Nikki's beef with Lotto is minor compared to how she embarrassed herself trying to attack Megan the Stallion. Uh -oh. Megan was the the one female rapper that Nikki didn't immediately make enemies with. After connecting on Instagram Live, the two collaborated on Megan's single, Hot Girl Summer in yeah. 2019, which became a huge hit. Yeah. They even shot a music video together and seemed to be on friendly terms for the short years that followed. But in that. 2021, Minaj unfollowed Megan on Instagram, sparking rumors that their friendship was heading south. On an episode of her Queen radio show the following year, Minaj recalled an encounter between them that shifted the status of their friendship. Nikki said, Imagine telling someone you did didn't want to drink because you were at the I remember this. Uh huh. I remember this. 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 Yeah, this was recent time possibly pregnant because you were actively trying to have a baby. In typical Nikki fashion, she doesn't mention anyone's name, but fans suspected it was about Megan. A fan tweeted at Megan, Nicki Minaj is accusing you of encouraging abortion and child endangerment with alcohol. This isn't something to stay quiet on. And Megan said, lie. Months later, Minaj took subtle digs at Meg on the track Red Ruby to Sleaze, mm. rapping 700 on them horses when we fixing to leave, but I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. Mm. If you don't know, Stallion is horse. a horse. Megan ignored her shots for years until her 2024 song, Hiss, which is an all-encompassing diss track where she takes shots at multiple people in the yeah. industry. I think she took shots at Drake and everyone. <laughs> Maybe even Aiden Ross out. I don't know. Lose. Including Minaj Atari, by way of her husband's everything. status as a registered sex offender. Megan raps, These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. Megan's law is the name for a federal law in the United States requiring law enforcement authorities to make information available to the public regarding registered wow. sex offenders. Wow. Wow. Yo, what's up, 04? How you doing? What's going on? Enders. This one lyric sent Nikki into one of the worst meltdowns wow. we've seen on social media by a celebrity. I don't care. Wow. Bitch. I dare you. I <laughs> fucking dare you, bitch, to say one more thing about my fuck family, ho. Damn. Bullet fragment foot, bitch. Yeah, she touched her nerve. Bullet fragment, bitch. She a bullet fragment. <gasps> bullet, bullet fragment. fragment. <gasps> Now listen here, ho. Bullet fragment. No. <gasps> oh my gosh. Because Megan got shot by allegedly Tory Lanes. Don't know that whole thing as well. We need a dock around that. Because that whole thing, bruh. I, I, we need a dock around that. What does that mean? 
Tory Lanez shot allegedly. Uh, what's her name? Megan The Stallion, and obviously bullet fragment in her body. So that's why she's calling Nicki Minaj is calling her bullet fragment. Was it hoe or something like that? Bullet fragment. She a bullet. Oh, bullet fragment. fragment. Bullet fragment. Bitch, that is crazy. Now listen here, hoe. Oh my, that's crazy. Get up on your good foot. Bitch, I said get up on your good foot, not your bad foot. Oh. What was that? A diss or a piss? Said it was what? his. I said piss. That my fans called it piss. Nikki is maniacally Damn, mocking the, the incident where Megan was shot in the foot by Tory Lanez. She then goes on to refer to her husband's rape as 30-year-old T. Y'all mad because y'all don't have somebody that loves you and stand 10 toes down behind you. So you bringing up 30-year-old T from when this child, when this man was a 15-year-old person, child. You bringing up 30-year-old T because no man has ever and will ever f***ing love you. And lying on your dead mother, on your dead mama, lying on your dead, you know, lied on a dead mama, lied on a dead mama, lied. All right, now she's smoking something. Let me tell you that now. She took something that day. Let me tell you that. Somebody needs to go and check on her welfare. Are you listening to what this woman is saying? Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. nah she on no something. Has- That's why her face ain't even in the cam. Ever nah, and will she ever something. love you and lying on your dead mother on your dead mama on your dead mama on a dead mama who sings about the deceased that's not normal that is not normal it doesn't matter how angry you are pissed who is singing about the deceased bruh Lied on her dead mama. Nah, on she's your, smoking I said, something. On her. Ain't sexy red, she done lie. She lied and she cried and she huh? lied and she cried. She said she lied and Look, she... see? Look at that comment. The coke is showing. Look. She cried and she see? lied and she cried. And then she lied and she cried. Look, look at your rage. <laughs> well, look at your rage. And she lied and she cried. Because she got blogs all up up her stupid doofy self ass. Air what the... I said no way. Well, I don't give up. Vote for the rip up. Huh? Nikki, aged 41 years old, repeatedly you see, I like this. He, I, I love this Patrick CC guy. I think I love this guy. You see, you, did you just hear what he just did there? <laughs> Nicki Minaj, 41 year old woman. You see how he made it clear. She's acting like a child and he then opened the next segment. Nicki Minaj, 41 year old. He made it clear to you that this is a 41 year old woman, by the way. Bro, she's, something's wrong with her. Something's wrong with her, I'm telling you. Mox Megan's not mother normal. who died of brain cancer while claiming that this is her alter ego, Roman, speaking. Every one of y'all, bloggers, YouTubers, all of y'all, let me tell y'all something. Huh? What my pen don't catch, the universe will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, she's Ask smoking about something. my prophecy. Oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. She didn't yeah. drag Megan. She embarrassed herself. This is literally the same feeling as when you have to sit next to a crackhead on a bus. Yeah. This is what narcissistic rage looks like. Nikki then took to Twitter to continue expressing her rage. Megan's Law. For a free beat, you could hit Megan Raw. Minaj also did what she does best and bragged about her success, wow. listing several accolades while comparing their respective careers. She even accused Megan of winning fraudulent awards, seemingly referring to her three Grammys, of which Minaj has none, and repeatedly <laughs> described her as a flop who uses ghostwriters. In the midst of the outburst, TMZ reported that several barbs leaked the location of the burial site of Megan's mother on social media. As a result, the cemetery notified local authorities and increased the number of security personnel at their facility. She spent days berating Megan on social media, during which she repeatedly mentioned her mother. Nikki also liked hundreds of tweets from fans talking negatively about Megan, many of which mocked her for the shooting. Nikki ultimately released a diss track titled Bigfoot, Bigfoot. where she taunts Megan over her deceased mother, her appearance, and her sexual history, including her relationship with ex-boyfriend Partisan Fontaine. And the last two minutes of this song is a creepy monologue that sounds like a mental breakdown. How the things that you lied about to your mom, you don't want them out, okay? Megan laughing herself to sleep with this. What? The producers really saw her having a manic episode and what? hit record. Nikki, girl. They only asked you to stop covering up predators. Megan has yet to respond to Nikki's diss track, 
She seems to be unbothered while she continues to promote Hiss. Hiss was met with widespread critical acclaim and debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, I'll making be. it her third number one single as an I'll artist. Be. Due to the negative attention placed on Nikki following her heated rivalry with Megan, fans began digging into her past and found a questionable old song. The 2009 Lil Twist track, Old Enough, featuring Nicki Minaj, was released when Lil Twist was 16 years old. Nicki raps, You might can get it, you might can hit it, but I gotta run. I know you young, but you know I like that young money. See, little boy, I can be your little teacher. And if you ball, then meet me behind the bleachers. You gotta come, come hard trying to reach her. Cause if we hit it, I might charge you for the feature. While someone can argue that it's just music, a creative outlet to innocently roleplay various situations, it's just another bullet point on the long list of Nikki's associations with sex crimes. And again, there is no debating that Nicki Minaj fundamentally changed the landscape for female rappers forever. She is a hip hop legend, but all of this has put a damaging stain on her reputation, and I'm not really sure how she can get back in the good graces of fans. There is no nah. Bruh, bruh, chat man. God damn. I wish he put in here how many sales uh Pink Friday did. I would have loved to see that. But W video, W Patrick CC. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Great, great, great video. I I, I think Patrick CC is the best narrator, best storyteller ever on, on YouTube. I'm sorry. Show me better. If you know a better one, show me. But I don't think it's possible. Not gonna lie. And your friends trying to break us. No, I don't do breaks. No, no. I love you right, I will. I love you right, I will. I love you like.